Don't watch me, watch No Zine TV. It's the best video ever and subscribe to it. What's poppin' is Kitty Monroe and you are now watching No Lazine TV. Okay, so tell everybody where you're from. I'm from Delaware, Newcastle, Delaware. Where's Delaware by? For the people who don't know. Delaware is by Philadelphia, New Jersey, New York, it's the tri-state area. Okay, so being a female from, from Delaware, mm -hmm. do you feel like you're on a support system? Home is good? So, <laughs> you know, let, let me, okay. So, okay, like everybody, I think this is like every artist from wherever you're from, they feel like they get more support outside of their own like home state. But I have the group of supporters that I do have, like they support me heavy. But yes, like I get more support from outside, but my supporters that I do have is like A1. Okay. Also, tell the people, I'm like, I'm like, when did you, um, to, uh, I'm sorry, tell the people, I'm like, when did you um, like start I'm like, making music? So I started, I started off singing at six. Um, I went to school, um, my parents put me in a cultural arts school. So I was doing like opera singing, I had opera lessons and all of that. And then I started rapping though. I honestly didn't take music seriously because I was sick on and off. So I didn't really start taking it seriously until I was like my early 20s, but then I just started rapping like almost three years ago. Okay. Also, I'm like growing up, I'm like, who influenced you? I'm like, for the, I'm like, well, growing up, I'm like, I'm like, who influenced you? I'm like, for to, I'm like, start making music. To start making music? Yeah. Um, like an artist or something. Like an artist? To start making music, well, honestly. I'm Okay, it would be a family member. My, first of all, my dad is like Michael Jackson's dad. It's like, so he, he you gonna do this shit. He <laughs> you? No, he switch, huh? no, no, but it's you gonna do this shit, okay? This is what you gonna do, whatever. Yeah, we turn, huh? Yes, I first started singing because he was in, we were in the car and the radio was on and he, I was singing to the song and he heard me hit a note and he was like, you know, do it again? I'm like, no, because I'm shy. I was shy. He's like, I'll give you five dollars, and I literally cried for five hours because I didn't want to do it again. And then I finally just did it. You got your five dollars. And I got my five dollars, <laughs> and then I got put in art school. But my mom, because she was a singer, she um went to. She was in the choir. She did gospel music, and she went to LA. They got nominated for an award and a record label, but. She turned it down and came back home because she wanted to raise me and my sister and my brother full time. So she stopped doing music so she could do that. So I kind of like continued it for her, okay. basically. So you gonna, I'm gonna live out, I'm gonna get mom's dream. Yep. Mm -hmm. So on um, my DM, on my projects coming up. So me and D Day. Um, D Day got another one. Yep. D Day got another one. Got he gonna have one. another one and another one and another one because we're working on a full EP together. Like. Five, six tracks. As we can tell. Yes. <laughs> so, all like, are you gonna have any all like features on there? I believe I am. I don't. I'm not. I I don't know. Are you gonna have on like D Day on there actually rapping? Because because he is a music artist. Honestly, I never thought about that, and I really appreciate you bringing that up because he probably wouldn't have said anything. Yeah, so because he's more, he, 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 he more of trying to be you know oh, yeah trying to be in the back. You know, but background. you know, maybe I'll diddy him, make yeah, him diddy him bop the video, to the huh? front. You know what I'm saying? All in the video. All in the Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I might have to talk to him about that. You talk to him about that? Yeah, I think I might have to talk to him about that. <laughs> but I think I'm supposed to be working with while I'm here in New Orleans for the first time. Um, a few artists, I think. I think I, I think I'm gonna meet some people and possibly get some features on there. So. Well, you can just ask him to hook you up with him. Yeah, you know, and, so, you know, yeah. record his verse as well, you know? Okay, so tell the people, I'm like, what's one, I'm like, average day like for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, average day, so my fam my dad, he owns his own um, coffee shop. So I help manage that with him. So on an average day, I wake up at like 7, so I can get there by like 8 do that during the morning and then I do my music all like I'm a nighttime music person like that's when I thrive with my music so do that in the, during the day and then music at night and then do it all over again. Okay. 
Oh, so you like superwoman? Mm, no, because I don't save people. Good. Well, you don't save people. You save people life with the um, if you know the coffee. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm -mm. More like Catwoman. Okay. So I'm like, what separates you? I'm like from other artists. <laughs> hmm. Oh my gosh. Like separates me from other artists. Okay. Well, I guess. I, I hope nobody this is no shade whatever but I guess you can say like I'm I can't be put in a box like you you ask me what's your genre whatever you want is my genre genre you know what I'm saying up. yeah yeah rock. if you want pop if you want rock if you want a house music whatever that's what I'm gonna give you R&B R&B hip-hop oh give us a sample of your R&B give us a sample of, of that singing which one? Which one? Hear me sing. Whatever you want to say. Any song, like an industry Any song. song? Oh my gosh. You don't hear that voice. Okay, I'm. Just, or I'll do some jazz and Sullivan. Y'all, when you looking at home, don't look me in my eyes. Okay. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I look into the eyes. Okay. Mm. If I could, could forget him, I would. Please believe me, and I know that I should throw the talent, but baby, it's not, not that easy. Hey, you treat me so much better than him, and if I was saying there'd be no competition, but I'm in love. With someone else. Okay. Now we want to hear you rap. <laughs> oh, I don't. Uh, I'm with shit. He's like, no. Like, you got to pay $50. You got to pay $50. Yeah. Right? Man, this ain't OnlyFans. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay $50. Yeah. Man. You got too much now. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't give you too much. <laughs> I respect that. Okay. So, please discuss how you interact only with your fans on social media. How? Yeah. Oh, do you respond? Yeah, I respond. I'm not bougie. No. Some people are bougie. No, no, I respond. I respond unless like the comment is like creepy as fuck. Cause some people they be out of pocket. Am I allowed to curse? You can do whatever you want. Okay, some people so be out of pocket. Just give us someone, an example. Yeah. Okay, an example. Literally the other day I had a block. He he asked me. He said, Hey, somebody random don't got no fucking morals. Can I eat your ass from the back? Don't even know me. You don't know if I clean right, if I wipe from front to back like I'm supposed to. He don't. He ain't give a fuck about none of that. I want to know eating ass just came trending. Like, <laughs> just These motherfuckers eat ass. <laughs> they eat ass, ass. Yeah, but they don't mind asking for the eat ass. They eat ass. <laughs> they eat ass. Toilet paper, balls, and all that in there. Damn. Yep. Hey, the little balls in the toilet paper? <laughs> a guy told me he was eating some girl ass and she still had like you know little toilet paper balls in her butt hairs and he, felt and he still ate the ass he still continued these niggas don't care yeah but i see why they say dogs about to clean the animals rough rough <laughs> so tell your fans something about you or that you don't show on your social media that i don't show on your social media like what tell us um, I'm <laughs> extremely afraid of clowns. So, so Birds. You, but you didn't watch it? I watched it. Oh. Like, I just literally just watched it for the first time a couple months ago. Oh, but were you scared? Um, kind of, yeah. Oh, of but it was like, the It that I watched, they right, said the it wasn't the... I think it was new. Yeah. yeah. They it said it same. wasn't really scary yeah, as the... Like yeah, person. no. So, I'm scared of birds. My worst fear is um, getting lost in the woods or dying from being set on fire or drowning. I think those are the worst two ways to, to die, drowning or being set on fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else. Okay, so I'm like, what do you enjoy most about being a music artist? And also, I'm like, what do you um, like, hate most about being a music artist? What I enjoy most is like it's like a healthy outlet to express like whatever emotion I got going on because I have 
anxiety issues and bipolar. So that helps me be like the you artist. No, honestly, I was on medicine. I don't take my medicine anymore. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, I'm but um, <laughs> I don't take it anymore because I know how to manage my emotions now and music helps that. That's what I like about it. What I hate about it, what I hate about it, two things. Number one, being a female is like, they try you. They feel like they, you know, how, you know what I'm talking about? The face expression tells it all. Yeah. They be trying it. They really be trying it. They, they feel like they can do and say whatever. And like, they feel like females is that desperate to get on that they'll just do whatever. And I'm not that girl. And secondly, I don't like to be touched. Like, I don't like people giving me hugs and stuff. And so people be trying to give you, and so, I don't so be one to be. not affecting your person. I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying to see. <laughs> no, because I don't be wanting to be that rude person, but they be like, oh, hi. I'll be like, oh. They be like, once you become a celebrity, you have to hug your fans. And I take no, you do not got to hug them. But well, you going to lose fans. I mean. I, so they have to feel like that connection. That yeah, I know, but like you don't got to hug them, like, though. When you get paid meet, meet and greets, the first thing you do is hug them. You be hug. Now, now, probably not right now with Corona, but. Exactly. But. Yeah. No, 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 no. Corona because. No, it is going. It is always going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's always going to be here. Now you know we got to be a little bit more cautious. Oh, see here with the, uh, hey. That mother, cool. No, but for real, I'll give like you know some people <laughs> hugs. I'm not ignorant, but I just like ask for permission. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't just come out, uh? and bombard somebody with a hug. Okay, I get you. Yeah. So how well do you take on the constructive on my criticism? Very well. I ask for it. Like, I ask for it, no matter if I'm not going. Because I already know. I'm asking. If I got to ask for it, it's because I already know it's something that I'm, I'm not doing right. You get what I'm saying? So, but I want people to openly tell me. Because some people, they be so, I don't know. I don't want, I don't like people that just tell me what, I, what they think I want to hear. Like, tell me some real shit. Don't make me, you know, make a fool out of myself. The fuck you laughing at? Oh, you are you going to edit that out? No. Okay. Oh Bro. shit. <laughs> Damn. All right. Action. People be paying attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell the people, I'm like, how did you, I'm like, come up, I'm like, with your name? Um, my friends came up with my name when I was like a teenager, because people say my eyes chinky, so that's where the kitty came from. So I will always be like a cat for Halloween, in Monroe. I honestly, um, Anna Nicole, I used to call her my mom. Your mom. And yeah, and Marilyn Monroe was my grandma. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was devastated when Anna Nicole died. So, has there ever been a point in your music career I'm like, when you just want to give up? Hell yeah. A lot. Do you need examples? If you want to give it. Um, the first one was when I was like just singing and I got sick and I got tumors in my neck. And so when they did my second surgery and took out, it was a really big tumor that was so big that it was pushing up against my voice box. So they had to scrape my voice box to get it out. And after that, like I ain't had no voice, like I couldn't talk, none of that. And so when I finally got my voice back, I wasn't able to sing how I used to. So I was just like, I'm not doing this no more. Oh, so what made you actually like, do it again? <laughs> my mom like she was I was really depressed and she like was like now listen you gonna get out this funk and you gonna find a way to use your voice again so figure it out and then I figured it out so, um, so what's your advice on to one I'm like younger artist I'm just trying to follow all of your footsteps um make sure you always have a team a team of people that have your best interests. I think you have a team. Yes, I do. Hey, God, say hi. <laughs> Ew. Hey, that was really dry. You see, disloyal motherfucker. This will be a fuck. <laughs> I said, say hi to hey. The fuck. God damn. Um. Uh, don't be too gullible. Like no matter how good it sounds, like somebody can sell you a dream. 
eight times out of ten they fucking lying okay make sure you you backtrack and do get a whole research you know what i'm saying make sure you look into everything um and it's going to get frustrating it's going to feel like you you're doing you've been doing shit for so long and it's not paying off but you just got to keep you gotta stay consistent. Keep, yeah, keep going. I'm a consistency beast talent. Anyway. Yep. 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 <laughs> okay. Do you feel like you have to move on like out your city? Absolutely. Like Before you even finish <laughs> the, the sentence, absolutely. Ready I'm ready to go. I think I'm going to move after my birthday. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I do need to be down south. south. That's what I do now. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to end up in P Valley. At the me. pink? <laughs> At the pink. But what if like... <laughs> I'd be like, um, Lil Murder, and somebody come in, you know, I don't think somebody. Come... <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I'm saying, I don't, no, I don't want Cliff. I don't want Cliff with big ass, okay? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, you, you wanna know. Be, you want to become discovered? Yeah. Okay, I get what you're saying. At man. the pink. At the pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got you. So I got a funny question for you. Oh, shit. Go ahead. Have you ever been catfished? No. no, I don't think so. No. So you never like so. <laughs> First of all, I, I'm not that. I'm not carrying on no shit, no internet relationship. Well, you gotta be in a relationship. Like you, you, you gotta see somebody once and, then, and, you, and you can think they're cute. As soon as you see them, they probably had a hat on. As soon as you take the hat off, they probably miss the dream. Oh, a catfish! Like no. Okay, yeah. so if that count like a catfish, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Take that hat off, please. Yeah, but like a girl. Told me in the last interview, it was um, like guys be catfishing over like dick pics. <laughs> now see, um, I don't. <laughs> and he, and if you send me a, dick pic, I don't like, like dick pics. If it look that way, then you like, damn, what the fuck is that? Like, what happened? No, I don't like dick pics. Don't send me no dick pic. I'm gonna block you. You block? Yes. Yeah. I feel like that's really weird. Like, what? You're a guy. So what? If you, I don't know what you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know. If you if you taking a dick pic, like, do you really like how you be posing? You be like this, like that's weird. I think of shit like that, like, so what you doing? Just sitting around posing, taking pictures of your dick, and then sending. I don't want that. Don't send me no pictures of your dick, please. <laughs> I ain't never get dick catfish at all. But it was some people that had hats on, and then they take their hat off. It be like, what happened? No, that did happen, but no. Mm -mm. So describe your music on a using, using only one word. My music, like overall. Yeah, overall. Um, y'all talking about me? It's like, um, I would say diverse. I think so. Yeah. So, I mean, what do you think you'll be doing on like if you wasn't doing music? <laughs> um, customer service at a bank. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, at a customer service for sure. I'm going to be working at a job on the phone. So I can put you on mute and talk shit about you. That's what I did, so. Okay, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you see a music career going? Three years from now? Yeah. Um, Three years from now, um, I feel like I'm going to be a superstar, rich, you know, and one of the top artists. That's what I feel like. You got to aim for the top. I, I, yeah, I feel like, honestly, give me a year and a half. Okay. We going to see. Give me a year. We going to see. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Hey. <laughs> you got to be just confident. Yeah. Right? We going to see. Give me a year. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so what's next for you, like, for is like music, merch, like starting a label? So what's next is the project that I'm doing with D-Day, and then we're going to, you know, get some videos. I, I am working on some merch. I want to, I really want to make my own wine and like some, you know, shirts and stuff. But I really, I'm really looking merch? into, yeah, I'm really looking into um, making my own wine. For sure. That'd be dope. Yeah. Okay. And also, on like last but not least, tell everybody, I'm like, where can they find you on social media and also other music platforms? So social media, everything is the same. Um, it's Kitty K I T T Y, 
Monroe, M-O-N-R-O-E-E. -E. And I always tell people to make sure the second E is very important because if you don't put it, a porn star pops up. Uh, it's this white blonde lady, and that's not me, clearly. So please make sure you put the two E's. But, and that's how you type in my name anywhere. Um, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, all that good shit. That's how you find me. Everything's the same. Twitter, all that. N-O-L-A-Z-I-N-E. Make them S-C-R-E-A-M. Scream. Nolazine. Make them scream. You heard me.